Hello everybody and good day. It's Jerk and today we have the second half of our edge of your seat back-to-back -back cracking games. This time in the Tech Tree Tier 6 French battleship, the 16-gun salute, the Lyon. This is right up there with the Synop as far as my go-to Tier 6 battleships. Everything it lacks in armor, it makes up in broadside firepower. I've been using this a bit more lately as a regular div mate of mine is grinding some Tier 6 lines. And this thing is just a cruiser deleter. If I'm in a cruiser, a Leon is my biggest fear. And spoiler alert, you will see an example as to why in this game. But first, here's Le Commander, Robert Jojard with Cunningham and Cheer's inspirations. Is there anything more to really say about this ship? Uh, squishy armor, lots of guns. That's about it. On to the match. We're on north. And I think the last Kraken I had on this map was with the Tech Tree Tier 7 French Battleship Richelieu, which you can watch after this if you haven't seen it. But I said in that video, and I'll say it in this one, early in my Wowzles career, this map gave me all sorts of issues, but now I feel it gives up the Krakens with great ease. It's just very well designed for the way I want to play. First things first, we're going to have to deal with a couple battleships that are spamming HG. Oh, well, I guess this is pretty fortunate to me. As we mentioned, this is a very squishy ship. But HE, well, that's uh, that's just not something I'm going to have to worry about too much. So as is typical, I'm going to get some terrain to protect me from taking fire from the targets I don't want to engage with right now. But considering the red team is flowing west, I'm going to alter my heading to match. The Red Colorado is taking themselves out of the game for the foreseeable future, and our destroyer has got C under control. So, I'll take a shot, but there's really not much reason for me to stick around here. Much better for me to become centrally located and have access to far more ships of the Red Team. B is getting capped, so we know exactly where the enemy destroyer is, and I promptly switch my shells over to HE. Not only is the Leon a tear for cruisers, but a Leon with HE loaded, this is essentially the end times for any destroyer. But considering I am spotted by a plane, it would be foolish to not expect that destroyer to be sending a welcoming gift. So I'll need to show some caution as I approach this opening, as it's near certain the Jervis will be sending a steady stream of torps through that channel. Um, I think this Vanguard is going to do a get down Mr. President moment. So, from out of nowhere, the Vanguard throws themselves in front of whatever was intended for me. Merci beaucoup. But I was well aware of the situation. We won't let this be in vain. It's the simple things in life, really. Like coffee, a little conversation, your first kiss. Or in this case, having a Leon with a destroyer trapped and you have HE loaded. Let's just take it in and enjoy the moment. Was that good for you? Does uh, anybody have a cigarette? And I seem to have gotten myself kind of in this bad level. I got my arm kind of trapped here. Maybe if I move... Okay. We're out. Now let's get back into it. So let's do a mini map breakdown. Our Shiratsuyu from CCAP has opted to. Uh, man, I don't even know. I I guess they're out there trying to torp ships. There's a really big battle going on over at A that I would love to be able to help out with. I've got a couple jabronis south of me doing again. I don't know. 
So ultimately what I want to do here is be able to support A by setting up a crossfire from B. This probably sounds familiar. But I've got a few ships that I'm going to need to deal with first before that can happen. So we're just going to back the Leon up a little bit. Get our nose pointed out towards A. And then start working these ships off one by one. And now, the moment we've all been waiting for. The Lyon does what the Lyon does best. On a détruit un croiseur ennemi. Poor little guy. He never even saw it coming. Somewhere in the excitement of all that, our vanguard went down, and I'm going to move on to B to secure this cap. But I'm going to have to angle here to try and mitigate the amount of damage that I'm going to take from this red Leon right here. And the dangerous thing about that is, for a brief moment, I'm going to be fairly exposed to anyone from A if they're looking over here. But fortunately, they're not. The Red Leon seems to be standing out in a dusty street asking me to draw. So I do, and I get a little chip damage. And that Leon is angled pretty well. And they return fire, and they get a little damage on me too. But I really want to wrap up this dance, as the longer I'm positioned like this, the more likely someone from A is going to notice that I'm completely broadside to them, and I will be lapped. But for some reason, this Red Leon seems to stop shooting. I don't really know why. Something I probably should have mentioned earlier is that the Leon turrets can be a little fragile. And I'm going to disable one permanently here. And I don't think I've even temporarily knocked any out before. So that's kind of surprising. I feel like I'm all out of time leaving this broadside open, so I'm going to have to do something unwise, and I'm going to end up showing a little too much broadside to this Leon, and it's going to hurt, but I will survive that encounter, and they won't. So I'm doing a quick survey to find out who my next victim will be, and I am pretty sure it's going to be that Sharn Horse. So I'm going to try and get another turn in to angle for it and the Colorado. But I have pressed my luck for too long, and the Vladivostok hits me from a pretty dang hard. And to make matters worse, the Sharn Horse has already gone down. But all is not lost, because now I'm going to take out this Colorado. We've finally cleaned up this side of the map. We've capped B. We've maintained most of our health. I mean, you can't take it with you. If you're still full health at the end of the match, you probably weren't involved enough. Behold the Bower of B-Cap. It is the key to winning North. And it looks like the fight of day has taken a toll on both sides. And look right there. The Turpitz is requesting help on the Vladivostok. And I am all too happy to pay the Vlad back for earlier. And there we go. Kraken 170 in the Leon. But we're not done. 
we still get to try and go collect the six pack. So let's get one last turn in, take in some of that uh, beautiful scenery, and try to get rid of that Baltimore. We have a couple minutes to get into range, and we've got a little time to kill, so I thought it might be good for viewer mail time. Don't we have any um, viewer mail music? We don't? Well, that's anticlimactic. Uh, wait, what? Oh. Uh, well, that's just awkward. Uh, sorry, folks. My producer is telling me we don't have viewer mail music because we don't actually have any viewer mail. So instead, I'm going to ask for some help from you viewers. We've gone from about 30 subscribers three months ago to about 130, 140 a month ago, and now we're just over 280. We may even hit 300 before the end of the month or before the end of the week. So I'm asking you all to help me out by letting me know anything you guys would like me to add into these videos or anything you'd like me to remove or change up. Your silence will mean that everything is 100% perfect. So I'm all ears if you have anything you'd like included. I can't promise I'll do it, but I will at least take it into consideration and I appreciate the feedback. On that note, we've gotten up to the Baltimore and we've got one shot for the six pack. Let's go. Ah, uh, I guess it just wasn't meant to be. And that is the thrilling conclusion of the back-to-back -back cracking games. And as I stated, leave a question or comment if you have one. Request your date of birth, social security number, mother's maiden name, your first pet's name. Hit like if a French sandwich sounds pretty good right now. Hit dislike if you'd rather have Ludafisk. Subscribe if you want. Let's check out the end screen. Pretty good, just a dash under 3,000. That's over my average, even though it's not a high damage game. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll get back out there for another one. We'll talk soon. Happy holidays, everybody.